Clayton from Ustensils, and today I'm going to do a instructional on how to clean your uh, quick change airbrush kit. Uh, my practice kit's been sitting for a while, and so it's kind of, you know, cruddy. And so I'm going to do a full clean. I'm going to show you how to do just a quick clean for on the job if you have to do it. Um, you're going to need a pair of gloves. 91% um, alcohol. Don't use 99, use 91. Um, the 99 can mess with the rubber O-rings. Um, if you're doing a mask clean, um, you're going to want the short lids. Um, they don't come with the kit. I do have them. Um, they come when you buy the empty bottles, but they don't ship to me with the kit. Um, so I do have them, but you'd have to pick those up. Um, I use those because I will be taking all these off and I don't want anything to fall over. You'll need an airbrush cleaning kit, whatever these things are called. Um, I have these. I'll be ordering these soon as well. You'll also need the little wire that came with your kit from me. Um, some alcohol in a spray bottle, alcohol bottle bottle. Um, this is an ultrasonic cleaner. Um, this is what I use to do most of it. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it on the job real quick. And then I'm just going to take them all and put them in here. So, gloves on. So I'm going to do the purple because that's a darker color. I'm going to twist that off and put the purple cap on. All right. So, you're going to take this and untwist it all the way. You have your two parts. And you can see inside here, um, maybe you can see inside. I'm going to push this all, all the way close. But it's got a bunch of ink in there. Um, these are fab airbrush inks anyway. And I'm just going to take the alcohol bottle and spray, spray, spray. And it's coming out, so you know it's coming down good. And I'm going to take one of these cleaners, whichever the biggest one in that fits. I'm just going to go ahead and go on in. And you can see we got some guck coming up. And it's kind of full. There. If I was just doing this, I wouldn't be putting into the cleaner, but it's all good. Since I'm going to be using this anyway, it doesn't really matter. And that one's kind of big, so I'm going to switch down to a smaller one, make sure it's all cleaned out. Switch it all the way through. And you can see that this goes right inside there now. All right. And I just keep on spraying alcohol in. You can see it coming out Oops. until that runs clean. Okay, so then I'm just going to take the paper towel and go in here and go around. And get anything left over. And clean up the sides real good. You want to get everything out because you don't want any dried paint getting stuck down into the nozzle or whatever this thing is called. I can't think of it. Chamber, whatever. But then we get it nice and clean. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rub off this too. Get everything off of there. Alright, so you've got that. And I hate this part, but I do it. Well, I want it to make sure that there's nothing stuck in there. And if you can see here, um, there's a little hole right there. That's where the ink comes out and everything. So I make sure that, that is clear as well. And then you're going to take the top piece, all right, and go ahead and look through it. If you can't see light, then it's dirty. So I'll spray that a few times as well. All right. And I'm going to take that little piece of wire. I think you can see it on there. And I'm just going to take it and feed it through. And you're just going to push that right on through, and it will feed through the top. And I just kind of press down on one side and rotate. I go back and forth and that will clear that all out. And I'm gonna wipe it. So you're gonna have the whole roll of paper towels for this. And then spray again. I'm gonna make sure if it's stripping through, you're, pr you're pretty good. So that's it, and it's pretty clean. And again, what I do with this one is go ahead and blow on it. I know it's gross or you can just dry it. I blow on it, I don't care. But I do it from the opposite side so that it's just easier. And it's not like you're gonna to be touching the kids with this stuff and you can always clean it again afterwards with just spray with alcohol to sanitize one more time. 
When I'm on a job, I do keep an extra empty cartridge for every six colors I have. My kit has 14 colors, so I have two extra bottles. I also keep an extra bottle, just, you know, the bottle of white, because I go through that the most, and a couple of extra empty bottles for, I don't even know why, I just keep them in there. But what you want to make sure you can do is see through, find the holes, there it is. Okay, so long, when you can see through, it's done. Oh, I got ink on my new shirt. Now before you put it back together, um, I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil. You can use silicone oil or pretty much any type of, you know, oil for airbrush. And there is a little tiny rubber o-ring right there. And you want that to spin freely. If your cartridge feels like it's getting stuck, it's because this is not oiled. So I just use olive oil and put a little bit on there. And I spin it. Actually, I'm going to take my glove off for this. Because you kind of need to feel it when you do it. You need that to actually spin, not like your fingers around the O-ring, but you want the O-ring itself to spin around the metal piece here. So I just take it until it spins freely. Once I know it's going, I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it back on. Alrighty. And then remember it goes right back on top here. If you don't, if you're not gonna work for a while, um, then just leave it like that. Um, if you are going to be working, you know, that day or that weekend, then put them back on, just like that. Now that type of cleaning I will do, um, I used to do at a gig if I had a, you know, a clump of ink get stuck down inside, you know, the barrel. Um, what I do now is I just keep a couple of extra empties, cartridges, um, and I only use them if I get a clog. And normally a real clog is only going to happen with white. I haven't really had any issues with any other colors. Uh, these are fab. Uh, this is what I use. It's a hybrid because um, I do faces and I do arms and I just like how fast it dries. I don't have to powder it. Um, so that's what I use. It doesn't last like an ink. It's only going to last a day. Um, it's kind of like, I just tell them it's like face paint. So that's just for one. If you're going to do your whole kit, I use an ultrasonic cleaner with 91% alcohol. I think I already said that. And I just take them and cap each one. I'm just going to take this, unscrew it, and put them inside one at a time. But what's cool is you can just do this and go do whatever you're, you know, want to take care of. I run these for a 10 minute cycle. Uh, sometimes I run them for two 10 minute cycles, depending on how long. As you can see, the longer they sit unused like that, especially if you have them sitting down unused, it will build up inside here and it will run down out here. So if you're not going to be using your kit for a while, plan to have to clean it. Um, I leave my practice kit up for the most part, unless I have a lot of balloon decor orders. And that way I can test out new stencils whenever I feel like it. As you can see, I've been testing out all sorts of new stuff lately. Oops, nope, I don't go in there. It goes back here. And again, this is really great, but you gotta have the small caps, small bottle caps. Sorry. So yeah, this one is really gummed up in there. Like I said, I haven't been, I've been traveling and I haven't been practicing that much. And this week I kind of pulled it out to get going, but it was a mess. So I'll just keep talking. I'm trying to think. Yeah, see now this one here, it is, it doesn't want to turn very good. So I know that the O-ring is uh, not lubricated. So it's very important. Because what happens is eventually it will, if you if you don't keep them lubricated, eventually the little O-ring will snap and you are stuck because you can't get them at the store. Like they don't just sell them at any arts and crafts or anything like that. I have a bunch um, that I ordered just in case. I, I mean, I, I've been using the, this system for five years now. Jeez, five years, something like that. Um, I mean, before COVID anyway. And I've only lost two. I only had two break on me, and. The first one was just after I had gotten this. Ooh, this was really blocked up. Generally, I tell people that you want to store your kits with it facing up. So if you're not using it, they should be off. Because what happens is, if you face it up, when the ink separates, 
it stays down here, you know, the, the thicker stuff. You don't want, if you store them this way, then it's going to build up in there, and that is just a big mess. So at least if it's down here, you can still shake it up and it will separate out. If it's stuck up here, it's not going anywhere, and by the, you're gonna have to just chuck it. But these are all really gross. So those are going in there, we got everything taken off. Now I'm just gonna take enough alcohol Put enough in to cover everything up. Don't mind this, it looks disgusting. I've been used I've used it so many times. That is just lots and lots and lots of airbrush ink. Um, but you know, it looks like paint water. But you're just gonna put enough alcohol in there to cover it up. So again, this is an ultrasonic cleaner. I got it on Amazon for 50 bucks. You don't need a big one, um, you just need one big enough for these. And you're just gonna set it. Set, set. 600 seconds and hit start and you can hear it working in there it's gonna like heat and shake it up I guess I don't know so I'm gonna let that run for a couple of cycles and then I'll come back and show you how to finish up okay so the ultrasonic's been going for 20 minutes I did two 10 minute cycles and you can see it's really gross but but you can see inside here is pretty clean, so I don't have a whole lot to do. So just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out, and I'm going to use the uh, airbrush pipe cleaner thing, and just go ahead and give them a quick little, make sure they run clean, or as clean as that water is. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the paper towel and go on in. You shouldn't get too much. There's still gonna be some left in there, but you're not gonna end up, I'll even dip it a little bit, but you're not gonna end up with like the gobs and gobs of paint that were in there from before. So I'm just gonna clean it out, wipe it off. And like I said before, um, when I'm doing them all like this, doing a batch, I'll just take some olive oil and like a tiny bit, like a half a teaspoon on the plate. And I'll work with one glove. And again, I just take it to my fingers and just kind of make sure that this spins the little rubber thing spins. And just like with uh, the tips, I'm gonna take that needle again and just go ahead and put it through. I can see it. And again, like I said, I tend to just hold it and go around. That way, if there is anything dried inside that tip, you're gonna get it out. And then dry it and blow it out. And again, you're looking for the hole, the outside, so you can't see. There we go, I got it, Ugh. Rubbing alcohol tastes horrible. And again, you just go ahead and take it on, listen for a little pop there, and I just do it like that. And it's good to go. Um, I'm not gonna have you sit through and watch me do this 10 more times. Um, it's a pretty simple process. After you get them all cleaned up, you just put them back on the bottles, put them back in your kit, and you're good to go. Um, now I know you're still doing the plunger thing and all that, but these, the reason why it's better to do it that way is you end up, it's just its just easier. You're not gonna make as much of a mess. You don't have to actually sit there and get all the paint out and all the paint out and rub and twist because you know it does dry up in there. So I do like to use the ultrasonic cleaner just because it's quicker for me. But uh, that's it for today. I will, let's see. Next one I'm gonna do is just the actual setup of this kit because I probably should have did that first, but. I didn't, but at least now you know how to clean it. Uh, thanks again. If you have any questions, hit me down below or on the website. Bye. One other thing I wanted to mention before I go, don't do this on a white countertop or a cream countertop or any kind of light counter, um, countertop because you will make a mess. This is not, you know, I, unless you're putting down towels, you're gonna make a mess. Um, so make sure you at least put down a big towel over the area because you'll splash stuff and you don't really want to mess up your counters. 99% um, alcohol will take this off though, but you are gonna have to spray it and rub it or Clorox will take it off too, but you know, it, it, better safe than sorry. So remember, use a towel. I got one more thing. Um, I will reuse this alcohol. I know it looks gross, but it's still alcohol. It's just airbrush ink in it. So it doesn't bother me at all. We're just cleaning. We're not using it to, you know, for anything else. So I will reuse that rather than just throwing it away. Okay, now I'm done. Mm-hmm. <laughs>